Howdy, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today on Skillet Sundays, we're gonna be cooking up a chicken parmesan pasta in a cast iron skillet. So this is another quick, easy, and one pot meal, or in this case, a one skillet. Or in this case, a one skillet meal. So what you need for this recipe is about two pounds or three chicken breasts. You'll end up chopping that into cubes. You'll need some marinara sauce, 24 ounces, about 16 ounces of pasta, and you can just choose whatever pasta you want. You'll need a little bit of Italian dressing, some salt and pepper to taste, a little bit of basil. You can use fresh basil, but this is all I have right now. And then some Parmesan and mozzarella cheese. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the chicken into cubes and we'll get cooking. Once you have your chicken cut, you can go ahead and heat your cast iron skillet over medium high heat. Next, add about two tablespoons or so of Italian dressing. You can then add in your cubed chicken. Stir that around a little bit to get the Italian dressing all over the chicken. Then you'll add a little bit of salt and pepper for taste. And you'll cook this until it's cooked barely through the chicken, so about five to 10 minutes or so. Once your chicken is cooked through, you'll add a 24 ounce jar of marinara. Then you will add your pasta. And that's about 16 ounces or so. And you can go ahead and mix that up a little bit. Fill up your marinara jar and pour some water in there. You're really trying to cover most of the pasta. Be careful as you may fill up a good chunk of your pot here. Now you wanna bring this to a boil. And once it's boiling, you'll cover like I said in my previous videos, I don't really have a cover, so I just put some foil over it and you'll simmer for about 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes, you can remove the lid. Be careful as it'll be really hot. I like to stir it up a little bit, just kind of mix the noodles around. So you can either shut this off from the heat now or just keep it on low to keep warm. But next you'll add about a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and then about a half a cup of either grated or finely shredded Parmesan cheese. And if you wanna use fresh basil, you can. I didn't have any, so I'm gonna use just some dried basil leaves to put over the top for some garnish and a little bit of extra flavor. And then you're ready to serve. Thanks for joining me on this skillet Sunday. Hope you all have a good week.